Okay, good evening, people. Good evening. Hello. Is it raining where you live? No, teacher. Good evening. No. Okay, people, let's get started. Already gave time. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Alba Luz Cruz. Here. Alejandra María Mejía. Carlos David López. Claudia Margarita Constante. I'm here, teacher. Concepción de Lourdes Núñez. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening. Cristian David Galicia. Dalia Cristina Gómez. 
Present teacher, Dalila. Dalila, yeah. Elena Marisol Peralta. Good evening, teacher, present. Okay, good evening. Gabriela Alejandra Ramirez. Gabriela Noemi Orellana. Present, Mr. Montoya. Okay. Iliana Elizabeth Hernández. Ingrid Morena Ventura. Jefferson Alexis Pérez. Present teacher. Jenny Akane Molina. Good evening teacher, present. Good evening. Jose Antonio Montes. Present teacher, good evening. Okay, welcome. Luis Alejandro Mendoza. Mariela Araceli Martínez. Thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome. Olga Lisset Valdez. Present, teacher. Reina Margarita Arana. Delma Yamilet Hernández. Present, teacher. Verónica Alicet Alas. Verónica. Vilma Aide Cortés. Wendy Beatriz Aguillón. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Y creo que ya pasó, ya, bueno, ya terminé de pasar lista. Soy Carlos David López Amaya. Me, me, ya muy tarde me conecté. Sorry. Mm. Ok. Thank you. Else? Okay, let's get started. Well, last class we finished with this conversation. And in this conversation, we find many expressions in simple past. For example, what did you do last weekend? And question is in past. Then Meg responds, I had a great time. Ah, I went to a karaoke bar. Ah, and that with some friends on Saturday. Okay. And we have another question. Did you go to Lucky? Pass your answer. No, we didn't. Went to that new place down. About you. Another question. 
Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for two days. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. We have several verbs here and you observe the verbs in affirmative sentences in past. We use the verb in the past. Have, meant, and. Okay. It went. Uh, I just. Okay. And that is odd. So all of these are affirmative sentences. And in affirmative sentences, we use the verb in the past. Then we have the question. What did you do last weekend? And if you notice, in questions, we use the verb in the base form because we use the auxiliary team. What did you do? Did you go clockies? Did you go anywhere? Okay, so those are some questions. Now let's take a look to this. See the, we have some questions here. Did you work on Saturday? Did you go anywhere last weekend? These are just no questions. Because if you observe, they will respond. They are answered with yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. And some extra information. Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Then, the other question, did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I didn't. The extra information, I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Questions and short answers. Yes, no questions and short answers. Then we have here the information question. Let's start with a question word. What did Rick do on Saturday? What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? These are information questions because we don't respond with yes or no. We respond with the information request. What did we do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? Went to a karaoke bar and sat with So we use the T at the beginning of there's no questions. Then the question were at the beginning. Hello, buenas noches, teacher. 
Eh, yo voy a estar de oyente nada más porque voy manejando. Ok, Luis. Ok, Tiche. Thank you. So, please complete these questions in past. Questions and answers in the past. Okay? I'll send you two working groups to do it together. Let's see, we are. Eh, nos manda la captura, por favor, teacher. Okay. I'll... Thank you. Okay, join the breakout rooms, work together to complete the questions and the answers. And I send the screen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I will send you to a group, okay? Okay, teacher. Good evening, Maria. All right, please, Bilma.
We finish, teacher. Okay, welcome back. Let's see. Sorry, I don't remember who who is just a listener, so you cannot respond, no problem. Carlos David, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. You give me the question for number one. Uh, my answer is, uh, did, did you stay? You stay. Okay. Yes. Very good. There for about the answer. No, I yes. Mm. Okay, let's see. Claudia Margarita, can you respond? What is the answer for that question? Dalila? Diga, teacher, ¿cuál me dijo? What is the answer for the question number one? Number one, did stay here? The question, Dina, yes. Oh, ah, perdón. Uh -huh. Didn't call dro drove? Dro No. no. I didn't call. Call, uh huh. Y me gustaría drove. I called my friend. We we drove to a cafe. Okay. Number two, Elena Marisol, can you respond? Can you give me the question? Yes, teacher. How did you spend, spend your last birthday? Okay, thank you. Gabriel Noemi, what is the answer? No, Gabriela Noemi, not there. Yes. Okay, what is the answer for number two? Um, I have. I have a party. A party everyone enjoyed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, uh, but the uh, neighbors and neighbors didn't didn't like didn't like the noise. Okay. Good. Number three, Jenny, what is the question? I did. Give me the question. Jenny, read, tell me the question. Am 
I can hear you. Jose Antonio, what is the question number three? Um, what do you do last night? Do you, okay. what do you, me escucha, teacher. Uh, uh, a little bit. What did you do last night? Okay. Lourdes, what is the answer? I went and, uh -huh. to the new gym. Uh, I went to the new Jim Carrey film. Huh? I loved it. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Luis, I think Luis is working. Olga, can you give me the question number four? Yeah. Did read the question, please. Do you do anything special over the weekend? Thelma, what is the answer? Answer. Carlos, what is the answer for number four? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I went shopping. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money and all my money, money. Okay. now i'm broke okay thank you uh what about claudia again well the, is the question number five did you go out on friday night did you go out friday and what is the answer, Elena? No. Uh, no, I didn't. I invited friends over. Okay. I invited and friends I, over. Uh -huh. And I cooked dinner for them. Okay, very well, very well, very well. Okay, let me record the com the short conversations for you to practice the pronunciation. Okay, Mister. Yes. And uh, cinco no tiene que ir de you who went. Five no. Oh, no, no, sí, do you go? Yes. In questions, the okay. verb is in the base form. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Conversation one. Did you stay home on Saturday? No, I called my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Two. How did you spend your last birthday? I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. Three, what did you do last night? I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I loved it. Four, did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes, I did. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Five, did you go out on Friday night? No, I didn't. I invited friends over and I cooked dinner for them. Okay, there you have, you can practice the pronunciation late. Okay. Yes? Um, what is the, the pronunciation in the conversation for? Unfortunate, what? 
Unfortunately, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Can you repeat, please, again? Yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, Unfortunately. Yes. Unfortunately. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now I just listen to the pronunciation of the questions. Did you, did you have a good time? What did you do last night? Did you, did you, is uh, reduced in the question, did you? We don't say did you, no, did you, did you? Did you have a good time? What did you do? Now, let's see, we have this word, this vocabulary about chores and activities. Chores and activities. Uh, we have do my homework, go bowling, have a party, make a phone call, take a day off. Uh, what about the bed? Where would you place the bed? The idea, do the bed, go the bed, have the bed, make the bed, or take the bed. Teacher, go the bed? No, uh, to use it with go should be go to bed. When you go okay. to sleep, you say go to bed. Okay, teacher. No, any idea? Actually, is make the bed. Make mm -hmm. the bed. That that is when you put everything in order on your bed up after you wake up. You make your bed. Okay, make the bed. Let. On. A lot of fun. What about a lot of fun? Have a lot of fun? Yes. Have a lot. Have a lot of fun. Yes, let me write it. Have a lot of a vacation. A uh, vacation. Uh, uh, so yeah. Bowling, for example. Uh. A vacation. We are on a vacation. Take. 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 Take a vacation. Okay, what about the dishes? Good. Yeah. Do the dishes. I do the dishes. Do the dishes is wash the dishes. Yeah. Okay, okay then a good time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have a good time. Have a good time. Dancing. Go. Do. Yes. Go dancing. Go dancing. A trip. Have no. I take. Or take. It is make. 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 Make a trip.
the laundry. Do? Yes. Do the laundry. Do? Do the... Shopping. Go. Go. Yes. Go. Go shopping. El favorito de muchos. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, with the credit card. And finally, take oh, some okay. photos. Take. Some photocopies, I'm sorry. Take. Take or make. Take. Take some photocopies. Okay, let me read and record that vocabulary here. Um, Start conversations and this is chores and activities. Do my homework. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Go bowling. Go dancing. Go shopping. Have a party. Have a lot of fun. Have a good time. Make a phone call. Make the bed. Make a trip. Take a day off. Take a vacation. Take some photocopies. Okay, this is chores. And activity. Now, I want you to make sentences. Hmm. I want you to make sentences using this vocabulary in the past. So, talking about what you did last week or last weekend. Okay, for example, I could say about myself, last weekend, I had a good time at El Cuco Beach. Last weekend, I had a good time at El Cuco Beach. This morning, I didn't make the bed. Name on me. This morning I didn't make bed. And uh, what else? Uh, issues dancing. Last uh, year I made made a trip to Colombia. Last year, I made a trip to Colombia. Present impact using this vocabulary, okay? Do it, please. Write in your notebooks, and then you're going to talk about your sentence. Let me place this chat for you. I mean it. Yep. And we are working on exercise here, right? Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Quickly read me one sentence. Okay. We don't have too much time. But let's start with one sentence. Let's start with Gabriela. Gabriela Noemi, read me one of your sentences, please. Okay. Um, I did my homework um, yesterday. Okay, good. Lourdes. This morning, I make the bed. Later, I went dancing and I have and I had a lot of fun. Okay, very good. Carlos. Yes, teacher. Uh, I uh, the I had a party the last night. Okay. Hey, very good. Thank you. Mm, Dalila. Responding, Elena. Me, teacher. Uh huh. Oh, no. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Um, for example, yesterday I had a good time with my friends and my family. Okay, perfect. Thelma. Okay, Luis. No, Luis, I think is unavailable. Jose Antonio. No, Olga. No, Claudia. Yes, the last weekend I went to Salcuatitán with my family and we ate typical food and took some photos. Great. Jenny? I like to dance on Sunday. Okay. Jefferson? Okay, that's it. Well, people, it is time to stop. We will continue on Monday. We'll have class on Monday, okay? And okay. Good day. Good we'll day. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.